Pepe has become kind of a... We are having these battles again and again and again. What does long-term resistance look like? One, you absolutely do not adhere to the rules of politeness when it comes to challenging mm. racism, either in terms of saying, like, oh, that, you know... Don't get me wrong, I love a good curry, but, right, so you challenge, like, your racist Aunt Mabel, you see someone reading The Sun, you ask them, why are you reading that? And you start normalising these conversations, because in silence, white supremacy can thrive. Two, you do not, for a single fucking millisecond, accept that fascists have a right to organise or spread their propaganda, yeah. right? You nip that shit in the bud before it can become a Charlottesville, right? There are liberals who will tell you, no, oh, that makes us just as bad as them. It's like, no, because we don't want a genocide, right? So, no, it doesn't make yeah, us Yeah, there is a line, and them. that line is maybe actually murdering people. Like, it's not hard, guys. Three, is that when it comes to movements of uh, racial emancipation, like Black Lives Matter, or whether it's organising against the far right in this country, or whether it's migrant solidarity movements in Europe, as white people or as indeed people of colour with relative amounts of social or economic privilege, you loudly, noisily proclaim your support for it and you put your body to it. Mm -hmm. I was really struck by a tweet that I saw from a friend of mine who was saying that, you know, I'm thinking of activists in Charlottesville putting their bodies on the line without free healthcare. Which, oh, which, when, which when, yeah. you when, when you think about that as an image of solidarity and you know, that is what people are doing in that context. And some people can't even bring themselves to back Black Lives Matter in case it makes social situation awkward. No, none of that. Mm. Because we're in an unacceptable situation where people are saying, oh, well, if it wasn't for Black Lives Matter, maybe Charlottesville wouldn't be happening. We're like, oh, if you didn't call the Nazis, maybe there wouldn't be Nazis. No, what we need <laughs> to do is normalize the discourse of racial emancipation. Yeah.